a jungle fit for the Amazon in the fields of Yellow Springs, Ohio. Cannabis plants growing tall, all types, strands, and variants to supply more than 250,000 Ohioans following doctor's orders. As I was graduating, the medical program in Ohio was getting started, and I just really wanted to dive in and see what I could do to help uh, provide medicine for patients in Ohio. Cresco Labs has one of 37 medical marijuana control program cultivation licenses in Ohio. They can grow up to 25,000 square feet just as a starting point. Little tiny sugary looking things right there are trichomes. Rachel Fay, the director of cultivation at this facility, says from start to finish, they believe in near surgical cleanliness, even suiting me up to protect the process. Everything inside of this room is a future mother plant. You know, I think a lot of people have pre preconceived notions about it, but then they come into a place like this and it, it looks a lot like a, a farm or, you know, like you said, we look very medical right now. It's, um, you know, it's, it's very pharmaceutical what we're doing here. So. Carefully grown. This is our vegetative space. This is where we house our mother plants. Um, the mother plants are the start of all of the genetics in our facility. Carefully transferred. Each plant is given a precise amount of light for months, clipped at full bloom, sent to labs to extract the THC oils, and eventually into the kitchens. It's not something that you're just getting off the street. It's something that's produced in a, in a kitchen. There's formulation to it, and then it goes out for testing so you know exactly what is in it. Michael Mount moved from the dairy industry into cannabis. Now he oversees the kitchen, from the mixing to pouring, all the way to packaging. For regulation purposes, this is very important. Also, it indicates to the patients that this is an infused piece of candy. While cultivation labs across Ohio are growing the green, these businesses and the state are making it. In the first six months of the medical marijuana program in 2019, sales topped $14.5 million. In the last six months alone, that number has exploded to nearly $228 million. That's nearly 16 times more. And the three-year total? 837 million and the innovations keep on coming. We've heard our customers. We know they want chocolates. We know they want sweet tart tablets and we know that they want different gummies that will hit on different formulation specifications that they're looking for. Cresco Labs VP of product development Stephanie Gorecki, a scientist herself, says there's a high level of care to not only make these taste good, but also to have the desired effect to ease whatever is ailing medicinal users. This is a very highly scientific field, all the way from cultivation to extraction to edibles formulation. What was once considered reefer madness is now a possible sea of hope. I think the message is just that cannabis is, is really helping a lot of people in the state right now. And it, it's a really exciting thing to be a part of. Let's look at more of these numbers. Ohio has nearly 261,000 people with medical marijuana prescriptions. Now, out of those, nearly 17,000 are veterans and more than 1,000 people with access to medical marijuana have actually received a terminal diagnosis. Now, as far as who can write those prescriptions, 240 physicians in Ohio currently are allowed to recommend medical marijuana. 36 of those are in our area. Stephen Albritton, WLWT News 5.